Anti-Semitism and questioning from Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin. Let's listen to this exchange. I'll get to get you on the other side. How many people have been returned? How many people are being detained? How many people have been dispersed to all points around America? Uh, Senator, I would be pleased to provide you with that data. I want them now. Uh, Why don't you have that information now? Uh, Senator, I do not have that data. Why not? Army. Why don't you have that basic information? Now, certainly DHS has got a lot of information, Senator, uh, not the least of which is that uh, in the fiscal year 2020-2021, uh, which comes to a close, on the 30th, uh, 30th of this month, so far, 1.5 million people have come across the border illegally. We still have one month to go, so that number could rise substantially. Uh, do you, is, is, I mean, I don't mean to be critical here, but is the secretary just gaslighting America? Yeah, I think that's one way to put it. Uh, he either doesn't know, which I would think would be a malpractice on his part, or he does know and simply doesn't want to share it with uh, members of Congress doing oversight or the American people because it's bad news. Uh, and the worst part of this is if you make the same mistakes over and over again, you're going to get the same result. And we've seen what's happened with uh, Joe Biden's failed border policies for the first eight months he's been in office. And I think we can expect this to continue into the future until, uh, until he or Congress is able to do something about it. Now, we saw uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott on the border right there at that bridge uh, the other day talking about what Texas has had to do to step in and fill the gap that the federal government is not filling. Here's part of what the uh, governor said. The Biden administration is a man-made disaster of inhumanity, of epic proportions. It must end. It must end immediately. And the way to end it is by the Biden administration stepping up and finally enforcing the immigration laws of the United States of America. Now, the federal government has got sole jurisdiction for handling immigration issues, but the state of Texas, your state, uh, Senator, has had to step in here, divert DPS resources. Uh, it's had to put boots on the ground there to stop this, this problem. We actually saw DPS officers form a wall out of cars to stop migrants from coming across the Rio Grande. This is obviously taking a big toll in terms of time, money, and man and woman power uh, away from uh, what the state needs to do elsewhere. Well, John, we're ground zero. We have yeah. 1,200 miles of common border with Mexico. If the federal government isn't going to do the job, then our state leaders, Governor Abbott and others, have no choice but to do it themselves. Yeah. This, is, this is a problem uh, of huge magnitude. You look at our border communities that depend on cross-border trade and, yeah. and uh, tourism. They're being devastated. They're being overrun by these huge numbers. Hey, um, Senator, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to interrupt, but we, uh, we need to jump out of this and go to the White House. <laughs>